Why, why do we continue to see the low IQ of these gamers? Like, I, h- how dumb do you have to be to not see what the future is? Yeah. How, how got- idiotic can you be to believe that blockchain is not the new layer to the internet that's coming? Like, look at the trillions of dollars flowing in this industry. Look at the smartest people moving out of Web 2 into Web 3. Open your eyes. I'm so confused by it. I, I don't understand it. Yeah, it is It is baffling in a lot of ways. You'd think it'd be the community that would get it the most and accept it very quickly when it comes to digital assets, digital goods, that sort of stuff. Only thing I can think of is from my experience with just interacting with different people and having conversations, it seems... And it's just the same when you see somebody looking at Bitcoin. Like, they just haven't spent hardly... Literally any time looking into it, they've heard a few headlines. Even if they have, they might have played like one blockchain game and said, oh, this game's terrible. It sucks. You know, like, why would anybody want this? Um, And that generally tends to be the only experience they have or the only understanding. So uh, that that's the only thing I can think of that makes any sense. I saw I saw this uh, TikTok yesterday and it. You know, th- there are some people that can sound smart. They can sound educated on a subject they know nothing about. Absolutely. And that's a very dangerous thing, to mm-hmm. be honest with you. Because there was a girl yesterday on this TikTok where somebody asked her a question and said, oh, do you think Bitcoin is a scam? Mm-hmm. And she said, well, you know, Bitcoin is supposed to be a uh, decentralized currency that is supposed to, you know, be a new kind of money. But and now we have companies like Crypto.com and Coinbase that are basically banks. So it defeats the entire purpose of Bitcoin. And that was it. And drop the mic. And everybody in the comments is like, like the fact that a centralized exchange exists makes Bitcoin a scam. No. But but because she used these buzzwords of decentralized, mm-hmm. all of a sudden people think like, oh, she knows what she's talking about. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. That's the, why it's almost like what uh, Warren Buffett's doing when making those big stupid statements. Like that's the thing I have the most respect for. It was something uh, when Jay Chains asked Tucker Carlson about NFTs. Like some of the smartest people I've ever, ever interacted with, when you ask them a question, they're humble enough to say, you know, I really don't know yeah. anything about that subject, so I'm not going to comment on it. And that's basically what Tucker said about the NFTs. Like I've, I've learned in my experience to not speak with authority on things you know nothing about. That's smart. But a lot of people don't know that. That's smart. Yeah, it, it's just like these people, they don't... I, so many people are led astray mm-hmm. by these people. And that's what is so unfortunate. But at the same time, look, guys, it, you, you want the honest to God truth? The, the honest to God truth is the longer these people continue to misinform and miseducate, spread misinformation about crypto and what the future is, if, if you're in this industry, you know what's coming, mm-hmm. okay? If you're outside of it, you don't know. And you have no clue. The longer they do this, the better it is for us. Mm -hmm. That means the earlier we are, the more they continue to push people away, that means the better opportunity that you have because you are ahead of the fray. You you understand. And and tell you, when when you look at the valuations and the projections for where this space is going, it'll blow you away. And and you have these people that sit back and they hate and they lead people astray, like I said, but ultimately it's it's all good for us. 